All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Omen Sight. So we've got Radica next, and then, uh, it's not Iron Trick, I don't know. I'm terrible with names. Anyway, Radica. Radica, the leader of the Redemption Forces, has been courting the godless priestess for political support. And one of her mysterious powers, the ability to transform into this deathless entity. Is this an ally or a potential suspect? Of course not. So Someone it begins. Else. Another chance to save Euralia. Well, time to go hang out in the Imperial Prison. Okay, I'm gonna stop it for a second. I was actually gonna turn down the music a little bit. The music and the sound effects got a little punchy during that last episode, so let's crank it down a little bit. Not to kill, then. Have we met? A shame. Would have been easier. Nice hair ribbon thing, by the way. Can I get one? Oh, but where are my manners? So, you came to visit. What do you want? Wait, let me guess. The secret to my smooth and fluffy fur? The recipe to my mother's famous sugar raisin pie. Okay, one last try. You want to save the world from impending doom. <laughs> You're funny. I like you. Hey, let's help each other out. I have a plan. I think I can talk to you. I mean, make you talk to me. Well, sort of. So, you in? Good, let's go. I'll tell you all of that it on the way. I do kind of wish the Harbinger could speak. I don't know. It'd be much more fun if the Harbinger was kind of this, like... <laughs> I, I don't even know... I think part of the problem is it would be hard to give the Harbinger a personality. And really what they've done is they made him a silent... Her, a silent protagonist. So she's, you know, just kind of an avatar for us to play through and kind of pretend it's us. But I, oh man, I, again, bringing up stories about the destinies. Renardo in stories was this snarky dude and also kind of sort of the narrator. I think he was the narrator and the main character. I could be wrong. Um, the storytelling was interesting. Uh, but uh, he, he had a lot of like quippy one-liners and like his interactions with the characters were really charming. It's always weird when I'm playing one of these games and you have the one character that's like quipping at you and whatever and then your character's just like totally silent and like I either want them to play up the fact that they're a creepy silent protagonist and that like bothers everybody or to just have the character be a personality because like this weird in between is strange oh, I almost forgot there's a war going on and by going I mean going great so great they made me the leader can you believe it just look at me to think they used to call me the runt, never knowing I was a natural champion. But you escaped. Not only do you have eyes, you can use them too. Now, gather everyone around the Amber Site. It's a surprise for you and our Imperial guests. She does have magic I though. I can't Whoa. channel this spell forever. We just T-posed ran. The 
Ember site. The Pegarians call it the Ember Core. <laughs> Shows how much they know. We've built a city around it, real sacred. But make no mistake, its power is real. You'll see. Okay, we still can't get into the green seals. Oh, she's over here. Well, I'm here to destroy all of your boxes and weird monkey monkey urns. I haven't seen a monkey in this game, so I'm kind of confused about the existence of monkey urns. Monkey temples? Fish thingies. The oh, companion ability. Plays an inspiring song that speeds you up and Imperials makes you stronger. call them ciphers. <laughs> what does that even mean? Mindless monsters. That's all they are. Addicted, eh? Maybe later. Okay, how do I? Nope. Oh, right. What done for? Thanks, boss. And friend? Don't mention it. Or do, but only in a song. Okay, so we've got stuff to demolish up here, but I think we must get like a triple jump or something later, because we keep running into these like tall areas. You can throw these bombs on bad guys, you know. Um, no. Ah, that's how we do it. Okay, so I I forgot about my like weird grasp. I'll have to mess with that. See how that works. I love to play like an actual like. Okay, so. I'm gonna say actual action adventure, but just a uh, a a game from these guys that involves more like world exploration as opposed to going through the linear levels. Just because I love the environments they create, they're very um, I mean they're very just fantasy, but they're good fantasy, and it would be kind of neat to see uh, what they could come up with like with a longer game uh, with like. Larger environments. Is things a hobby of yours? I even ask. I'm never gonna respond. See, that's why I want the character to be able to respond. Everybody's just like, "Why do you break stuff?" And it's like, "Loot." I mean, I guess it's up to me to respond. We have but to help the others build the barricade. I'm not done here yet. Anything fancy? Nope. Yeah, we're still getting. All of these locked doors, so I'm probably gonna have to come back to these later. You wanna open the um, green door? I know you have the capability to do. No. It's hoping I could actually, like, jump around. Whee! Holy! We're under attack! Okay. Dang it! Redemption just hang, hung out in front of me. Let me see, what do I got? Not much of anything. I was really hoping I could chuck a bomb. Damn it. I'm just taking all sorts of dumb damage because things. Well, that's okay. Not the end of the world. I'll get used to hucking bombs at enemies. Damn it. Oh, right. I can also do a le lethal slash. I forgot about that. Oh, well. Whatever. Let's go for food. I think these are, like, the food placement is procedurally generated, more or less to put you back up to full health after every battle. I'd almost prefer it if it actually just... You had whatever health you had going into battle... And as soon as combat was over, you heal back up to full. It'd make more sense than leaving the. I don't know. Health pickups feel weird in games nowadays. It works for some games where, like, survival so, matters. The plan. I'm gonna sing a special song and tap into the amber site. Just so you know, I may be a teeny bit different after the song. Don't freak out. It's sort of a special transformation. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I don't know. Come on, hurry! 
We need the traps ready before the Pegarians show up. I know, I know. Oh, this is the bridge that we rolled through earlier. It is neat how we get to see environments that we went through in previous levels in a slightly different direction and view. Okay, that did less damage than I was hoping it would, but that's okay. Stop me if you've heard this one. A Rodentian leader asks her sappers to set bombs, but when she arrives, no bombs. Funny? No? You're right. It's the color code, boss. We, uh, we can't find the red wire. We're rats. We can't see red. G tell her. Go on over, tell her. <sighs> Do you see a gray wire? Oh. Yes. Wait, how did you know? Is gray in your color code? Uh, nope. If you still can't figure it out, rest your head against the bomb and try to light it when the spark of realization hits. She's snarky. Kind of mean. Her people are dumb. No wonder the, this world is destroying itself. Everybody's stupid. Open sesame! <laughs> Why am I even here then? I think I opened up this chest last episode. Well, I don't mind double dipping. Come on. I know it flies into you eventually. Uh, let's see. I really want to play a game like this where you have time travel powers and so like by the by the end of it you're effectively just wrecking the plot because you know everything and like you can open a door early or blow something up that you know I, I'm trying Welcome to think of a to Rodentia City. Hard to believe a few years back it was nothing but ruins. Witnesses talk of a battle with a monster caused an earthquake. The Pegarians offered to help us. They rebuilt almost the entire city. Of course, that was before I discovered their true colors. And that's why we have this happy little war. I'm trying to think of a good example. Uh, not exactly in the same vein, but I was playing, um, playing? I was watching Metal Gear Solid 3 playthrough a while back, and one of the things you can do is you can shoot one of the, uh, the bosses early, and it actually mucks up the plot for a little while, because he's supposed to be this enemy, you know, boss fight you have to go through. But if you shoot him during a cutscene, he's just dead. And... Then you just awkwardly fight, uh, you awkwardly just walk through his massive boss arena. And it's totally empty. I want to play a game like that where you can just, like, kill the main villain in the first scene. There is a healing power to music. It has magic that can bring people together. But not this song. This song will tap into the darkest corners of grief. This song can kill. So, why don't you sit back and relax? Enjoy the bardic whimsy of my balalaika. Oh, and whatever happens, don't interrupt. Oops, I wasn't paying any attention. Oh, it's all swirly. Hoping to do things. Oh well. So she's turning herself into a deathless. I thought we'd like try and avoid this or something. I guess not that what? Okay. Machine, but the enemy keeps pouring in like locusts. Focus on the blue one. Well, I guess combat time. 
as well just kill this guy. Oh, there we go. Oh, ow. I'm not sure. Well, I guess we get Creepy McCreeperton to just escort us around. Wow, yeah. Those healing items really are just placed to uh, put us back up to full is after every bot. What in the five hells is that thing? We should warn the general. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a good idea. Someone call reinforcements! Silence! I'll fight you to the death. Okay, so I can shoot. Uh, I I can do the uh, shoot move to take out shields as well. That's actually rather helpful. And we're back to this boss arena. Something is wrong. Ratica? I am deathless. I am your end. Will you break or will you bend? Deathless? Have you? Connected with the void? So, this is how we learn how Draga dies. Go! No! Ow. Ow. I gotta stop pressing A to dodge. I've been playing too much Wizard of Legend. That's what's screwing me up here. That's why I'm having trouble dodging. Because... Dodge! Man, I don't even know where I'm going right now. Ow. Bow. 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 Come on. Soldiers, attack! I really kind of wish this game had direct lock-ons or something. One thing I notice is the dodging feels real awkward. Um with how everything goes. Enough! Ow. To the death. There we go. Sort of. Oh, we stab her. Couldn't even jump on her back this time around. Okay. Boss, the Imperials are retreating. We won. Invaders. <laughs> Boss, Radica, is that really you? Radica was broken. Fear, doubt, regret. I am deathless. Ah, sorry, boss. I didn't mean to. Pursue! All invaders must die. Oh, hi, boss. You are an infant, but so very old. Radical's promise I will uphold. I see through you, I see your mind. There are the priestess you must find. Her soul is he, her soul is lost. Follow her trail no matter the cost. In the temple locked by a seal lies the truth for you to reveal. Now, Harbinger, back to the tree. You, the serpent, must never see. Interesting. So yeah, we weren't actually supposed to do this level yet. We need to, we need to do something else before Once we can again, do this one. The giant snake Voden. Avatar of the Can I skip this one? Void. Nope, I am stuck Surges in it. Alright, well that's annoying. But yeah, we weren't supposed to do this one yet. We actually had to go into the temple the first. Of the godless okay, so we have learned some things. So we've got new information for Radica. So plans to use the power of the Ambersite to become a Deathless, a terrible entity that seems to trade emotion for power. And that's the only thing. But yeah, we we're supposed to do that level later. Probably when we get, uh... Like the seal or something. We did not get a whole lot of VXP though. Eesh. All right, whatever. I mean, it's not that it matters too much. And everyone is dead. Yeah, so the bear really does uh, get killed by the Emperor. Somebody had said they dragged the corpses out to demoralize the Redentions. Which, I mean, I guess could be fair. I wanted to see what happened to Radica, though. Terrifying and sad. But her words, they ring true. Harbinger, you need to return to Yarborg's temple with Ludimir. This time, unlock the seal to the crypt. Why are they flashing? 
Just because I haven't read that one yet? Oh. That's why. So I have to I have to see the second one so it doesn't flash on me anymore. Oh, and I can look at these. Cool. Because I'd prefer to have this not flash at me if there's nothing new. Cool. Alright, let's go level up. Yarbug's fire cooldown. Harbinger's Aegis. Greatly reduce the recovery time after three consecutive dodges. So we want to save up for that. That's one of the things that's been messing with me lately. And being able to do that would actually be quite nice. Can I level up? Yeah, alright. We have... What is this? Phantom Dash. Dash at high speed, moving through enemies. Has a cooldown. What kind of cooldown are we looking at? Four seconds. Not bad, though. Will help, help with mobility. Alright, well, I guess we're going back to, um... We're going back to Ludomir. Let's see. Do I want to skip to the critical moment? Oh, that's so I nice. I pray for your success, Harbinger. So I could replay through the entire day, a little bit of grinding done, but I think I'm fine without it. Oh, that's neat. They actually do like a kind of recap of where where we are and what we did. That makes my life a lot easier. Still think it would be cool to have like one singular level that you're exploring and you like have a very hard time limit and you have to explore and like find the events that are going on to intervene when it's important and so on and so forth. That would be cool. Turn back, intruders. In the name of Emperor Inji, I command you. Oh, just shut up and fight. <laughs> Okay. Gotta kill these. I. Okay, he's dead. Things are happening. Things are confusing. But I'm okay. Nope. Works. Noticed all those locked doors we passed. Fancy mystical seals. And this one? This door is special. It's where all the emperors are buried. Think of all the secrets they took with them. Still, unless you're close to Indrik, there's no getting through. Mm hmm. So the big bear says. What he doesn't realize is that I'm a dirty little time cheater. I'm like, hmm, time, hmm. That's not a thing. What do you take me for? Some normal creature with a face and a voice? No! No, I'm over here. I'm opening this seal. Screw you, bear man. I have not even talked to Indrik yet. I got a seal. Zoop! Huh? Just... How did you do that? Ponytail magic. The emperor in there. Are we parting ways, then? You can just come with. Not like anything you do matters. You just die. For nothing. For no one. You accomplish nothing with your life. But this way, you can hit stuff for me. Nope, well, he's leaving. I can't keep Indrik waiting forever, so... Um, good luck with your, uh, exploration. Well, I bet we go hang out with Indrik next. We do have a shadow key. Yeah, I, I really wish this was all, like, one or... I mean, it is really one or four levels, but, you know, it was much more like open exploration through these levels. Uh, Metroidvania style. Oh, man. A Metroidvania style with this kind of, like, plot structure would be amazing. You know, you have battles that happen at key points and, like, the environment changes, you know, the, the, the big fire truck, whatever thing comes through and, like, changes everything around and shop and yeah we're gonna have to come back here later um and like that opens up new pathways it wouldn't it'd probably be harder than this but I bet it would be amazing if they had done it that way oh well I mean it's not the end of the world but I'm I'm gonna have that thought stuck in my head for the rest of this series like how rad would it be if it played out like blank um 
I, I do that sometimes when I'm playing a good game and I'm like, well, yeah, it's good, but what if it was better? The problem is it could also be, like, catastrophically bad and, you know, everything fails. Yeah. Hey, look, Street Sharks. Big a big a wumba mum mumber wumber. Okay. Gotta worry about. Gotta worry about. Let's shoot big man again. Get him a bunch. Alright. One. Two. Barrage of blasts. Two. There we go. That actually worked out rather well. Yeah, I should probably boost up my energy meter and like a couple of other things, but if I can get that dodge reduction, that'll probably make my life easier first. I don't know. Just thinking about leveling. I do kind of miss uh, the upgrade system from the previous game. Now, is there a reason to go down? Can I? I see. Death. Oh. <laughs> we might have to redo that entire fight. Well, that's okay. I kicked ass and hopefully I got to keep all my resources. Yep, alright. Fighting him again. Well, can't do anything. I'm not actually sure if I got to keep my resources. Have an explosives. Ow. Can't do much about that. I was trying to do the times, though. Whatever, we killed... We... We killed the big man on wherever. Not the end of the world. We will just fly through them. Ow. We won't fly through anything. We might die. I was really hoping that would actually kill multiple of them. Kind of working out. Ow. Oh, near death. Had my finger away from the block, uh, the dodge button. Yeah, so I should have fought them on the other side, but let me guess. No, fruit only heals me for 25. But there's a lot of them, so I'm going to be back up to full. I might get the health upgrade uh, once we get the requisite other upgrades I'm looking for, so. As long as I play well, I won't need them. It's just a requisite of playing well. It's harder than you think. I was really hoping chucking that bomb at them would actually do more damage than it did, but it's, uh, explosives are disappointingly weak in this game. There's some games where, like, enemy near an explosive, oof, they're gone. Not this one. A lot of mice, or, I guess, rats down in here. It's weird, because you don't think there would be anything to eat. Hello. Cruelty. Indrik's cruelty is revealed. Omen Sight acquired. Congratulations! You've reached your first major breakthrough in your investigation. Harbinger, have you just seen a vision from Varus' past? 
This is unexpected. I have much to tell you, so I need to bring you back to the Tree of Life. Well, that was fast. I thought it was about to do one of those things where it's just like, Hey, by the way, if you'd stuck around for a second longer, you would have learned a thing, but no. New information acquired. In the crypt of Yarbog's temple, Vera was in, the, was in distress at the mercy of Emperor Intric. And in Yarbog's temple... Okay, we already know about that. We've already seen that. We already know about that. Day complete. We got an open site, but no new seals or other stuff. I don't think I will ever be a stylish fighter in this game. And if, if I will, it'll be real impressive. Probably not, though. Are, are we going back, or...? Okay, we are just going back, before the day's even over. I gotcha. The tree changed. Terrible events leave traces in their wake. Harbinger, your search for the truth has created a bond between you and the priestess. You saw a key moment before her death. An omen that foretells Vodin's return. The vision confirms our fears. The godless priestess has suffered at the hands of the Emperor. But the question remains, where is her soul? Harbinger, no more following your companions and hoping for answers. Now you will lead. When you choose your companion, you will show them the vision. They will know it to be truth. This is your omen sight power. With the insight it grants, your companions will help you pressure Indric, so you may find the soul of the priestess. But who should be the first to behold the omen sight? Ludomir, Draga, or Ratika? Okay, this is interesting. It's not exactly what I was expecting, so that hopefully will put us on new paths. Uh, it does mean that they'll, they might open up some of the other directions that we haven't been to yet. Use okay. the amber you collected. We don't need to be told that. Uh, let's see. So we probably want Harbinger's Aegis 2. Greatly reduce the recovery time after three consecutive dodges. That seems really helpful for me. And I'll wait on the rest of those. And how do I look? Oh, I'm even shinier now. I'm blue. Except for the shoulder pads. They need a bit of a buff. I bet those are probably affected. Yeah, we're not going to level this. We're not going to level up this time around. I guess that'll just sit there. All right. Well, I guess this is actually a really good stopping point. Uh, just because I don't know what we're about to jump into next. I mean, it seems like going Ludomir first is probably a good idea, because he's the one that actually goes to see Indrik. Maybe? I don't know. Either way, I will see you guys in the next episode of Open Sight. And as always, thanks for watching.